In this video, we're going to take a quick look at earned value. Uh, earned value is actually a project management term that refers to the amount of money you've earned on a project as it proceeds, uh, as you uh, work on the project and put time toward it. So I'm going to click over on the Project Tasks tab. You see six tabs along the top here. The first one is Project Tasks and it allows you to create a project hierarchy uh, with project tasks under summary tasks very much like Microsoft Project. Um, so I'm going to get into a little bit of the project management uh, stuff here but not too deeply. Um, here you see a project I'm going to refer to this um, R0012 R4 upgrade project. Um, you can see that we've got a column for cost client and cost client actual. The cost client actual to cut right to the point is the earned value. Uh, this value is based upon essentially the percent complete um, for each of the tasks under the project. So we see a hierarchy of the project. If I click on one of these plus symbols then um, you'll see that that um, expands and you see the other tasks underneath it. Um, so I can collapse and expand these uh, summary tasks to see the actual tasks. But the uh, point I want to get to is that you have a cost client and a cost client actual. The cost client is based on the projected duration of the task and the billing rates. And then the cost client actual is based on actual time that's been entered into the timesheet which causes the percent complete on these tasks to increase. So if I were to open up one of these uh, you can first of all see that these tasks are assigned to different users. But you also see a percent complete value here. Uh, there's an estimated duration, there's an esti estimated number of hours remaining and the actual work that's been completed on here is directly related to your earned value. So in other words, you have earned money on this particular task as you've put time into the timesheet and that time then ends up um, being billed to the client or participating in the uh, final completion of the project. So let's cancel out of the here. We see these two columns here uh, duration and actual work. If you go to the view menu and choose columns, it turns out that you can add some other columns here uh, related to costs. Um, there's client rate, salary rate, things like that. Um, quite a few number of fields here that are project management related. Um, I had put the cost client and cost client actual fields in this view. So where do these numbers come from, these dollar figures? Well, th those come from a uh, client rate that you can type in. So if I go to Tools Projects, I see a list of my projects. Click on this particular project that we're looking at. Um, we have a billing method. You can choose either user rates, which is the def default, or category rates, or project rates. It depends on the model that you're using for billing your project. Uh, salary method has a different um, calculation. So let me close out of this. We can then go to the tools menu, choose billing rates. You can either choose employee billing rates or category billing rates. And so those are the uh, methods that you're using to type in your billing rates that effectively uh, set these values here that you see. So this particular project is a $747,000 project. We have earned on it so far uh, $672,000. So that's um, essentially the idea behind earned value in standard time. 